Before I start on what trigonometry is, I just want to do a quick refresher of a few things about triangles. Now, the triangles we're going to be dealing with are right angle triangles, and they look like this. Okay, They have three sides, like all triangles do, and they have a 90 degree angle in it, okay, which is just down here. The same angle that you get in squares and rectangles. The other little thing which I'll mention before we get on to trigonometry is that all the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so now we're all ready to go on trigonometry. Trigonometry is a process that shows the relationship between the sides and the angles in a right angle triangle. Okay, if we know what a couple of the sides are or what one of the angles is, we can work out what any other one of the sides or angles are using trigonometry. So we'll get on to how that works right now. What we have to do first is we have to put a few labels on this right angle triangle to describe the different angles and the different sides. The first one I'm going to do is I'm going to put the one on that describes the angle. An angle here is called theta. It's an unknown angle, or maybe it is a known angle, and we can use it to work out the side. Okay? The other thing you have to know is, is how what the sides are called. The side here, directly opposite theta, is called the opposite. The longer side is called the hypotenuse. The other side is called the adjacent. Now, that's the labels out of the way. Trigonomic functions that we're going to be using that you've probably heard of in school are sine, cos, tan. Now, as far as you guys need to really know, these are buttons that you're going to press on a calculator. Now, sine, cos, and tan, to work out which sides and angles they deal with, what we'll do is I'll show you this little mnemonic. Now, when you guys are at school, you probably got given this one soccer tower, and you might have got told some weird little story about Indians and things like that, which I had one maths teacher say. But another maths teacher, I worked it out how to remember this without trying to do soccer tower because I could never quite spell it. We used to have a really nasty maths teacher. She was a really old, angry maths teacher. And we remembered soccer tower or this sine cos tan thing like this. Some old hags can't always hack their old age. Now, the way we use this is we'll first we'll consider sine the some old hags part. So sine, sine theta, we're dealing with the angle, equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. Okay? Cos here, cos theta, is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Tan theta here is the opposite over the adjacent. Alright, I'll show you how this works. Okay, so the first example we'll look at here is an example where we have an angle of 25 degrees and a height of the triangle of 7. We want to know an unknown length here which is shown as x. Okay, so I've written the steps down here about how I'd do this. The first thing I'd do is I'd label the sides, the opposite, the adjacent and the hypotenuse. Okay, this 7 here is opposite the angle, so it's the opposite. The long side here is the hypotenuse, we won't be using that, so the other side is the adjacent. So I've done that. The next thing I do is determine which trigonomic function to use, sine, cos or tan. So I go to my sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, this part over here, and what I do with that is I look for the function that uses opposite and, and adjacent, which is tan. So I'll write that over here, tan theta equals the opposite over the adjacent. The next thing I'll do is substitute in the values. So tan, and theta become, is 25, that's the angle, 25 degrees equals the opposite, which is 7 over the adjacent, which is the side we're actually trying to find. And I've done that. Now I'll calculate this. First off, I'm going to have to get this x here by itself, the unknown side. So I'll write x equals. Now this step now tends to confuse a few people. They never know quite whether to divide or times or things like this. The little trick I do for this is I have a thing which I write down 3 equals 6 divided by 2. Okay. Now, as you probably might notice, 3 equals 6 over 2 is very similar looking in a sum to 10, 25 equals 7 over x. Okay, something equals something over something else. So, if I was to line these up, the x is in the same position as the 2 here. Okay, these guys are both in the same position. 
Now, what would I do the 6 and 3 to get 2? Well, I'd go 6 divided by 3. It would be this one here divided by this one here. So I'm going to do the same. This one here, which is 7, divided by this one here, which is tan 25. Tan 25 degrees. And now I can work this out. First off, I'll work out what tan 25 degrees is. So to do this, I get 25, and I press tan on the calculator. And I get the answer as 0 0.47. So my answer is going to be 7 divided by 0.47. So 7 divided by 0.47 gives me an answer of 14.9. So the unknown side length is 14.9. And that's that bit done. We'll go to one more example. Okay, in this example here, we have an angle of 34 degrees, we have a side length, a height of 3, and we have an unknown big long diagonal here. So the first thing I do is label the sides. Okay, the side opposite the angle here is the opposite. The big long side is the hypotenuse. So I've labelled the two sides we're dealing with. The next thing I do is determine which trigonometric function we're using. Okay, the one that uses the opposite and the hypotenuse is sine. So sine theta equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. Now I substitute in values. So sine theta, the angle we're dealing with, is 34 degrees, equals the opposite, which is 3, over the hypotenuse, which is the unknown side. Now I'll write my 3 equals 6 over 2 again. Hey, look once again. X here, because it's in the same spot. So 2. To get 2, I'd go 6 divided by 3. So this 6 is in the same spot as the 3 here. So 3 divided by... Okay, sine 34 is in the, in the 3. They're in the same spot. So sine 34 degrees. OK, I'll work out what sine 34 is. 34 sine is 0.56. So 3 divided by 0.56. We expect an answer around about 5 point something. We'll have a look. 3 divided by 0.56 equals 5.36. 5.36. I'll have a look at a different example now, one where I know both the sides and how I might work out the angle. Okay, in this example here, as you'll see, I don't know the angle, but I know both the sides. So the first thing, the steps are exactly the same. First thing I do is label the sides. I'm dealing with the opposite. Not the hypotenuse is up here, but I'm dealing with the adjacent. So the one that deals with the opposite and adjacent is tan theta. Tan theta equals the opposite over the adjacent. Hey look, I've just done that step, that step, and now I'm about to do this step. I'll substitute in the values. Tan theta equals the opposite, which is 1.5 over 1.3 equals. Now, the way to work this out is I get my calculator. I go 1.5 divided by 1.3 equals I get this answer of 1.15. I'll just write it down here, 1.15. Now with this, the button I press is inverse, and then I'd hit the tan button. Okay? For some calculators, that might be also a second function or something like that key. Or it might come up, it's, it's a button that comes up like this, tan, negative 1. It's the inverse of tan. Okay? It's doing a backward step. So I'd go inverse, tan. And my angle? It's 49 degrees. 49 degrees. Okay, pretty easy. So if you're able to label all the sides of a triangle, if you're able to actually use this, some old hags can't always half their old age, and apply this properly, you can do really well using trigonometry. Next video, we're going to work out all the sides and angles of a triangle. Okay, see you then.